This is the LCD of the whole circuit. The first sensor we will present is the real time clock. The real time clock is appeared on the first line here. This is the day of the week, it is the fourth day of the week. This one is the third day of the month, the tenth month, and the year. Here is the hours in 24-hour form, the minutes and the seconds. The real-time clock, the 80 mega 8 requests the time from the real-time clock module and appears the data on LCD. On the second line are the degrees from digital from the digital compass. The digital the digital compass sorry is this board. I don't know if you can see the LED that blinks. Mm. Yeah, you can see. Every time it blinks, the data goes from this uh, compass to the 80 mega 8. So, let's do that simultaneously. If you, t if you see the arrow on the board, shows the north. Okay is uh, 12 degrees. If we rotate the PCB you will see that the degrees are increasing the value. The value is increasing. Okay, 286. Let's do that to the other side. Three hundred sixty is the maximum, as everybody knows that. Okay, let's turn it it works very good. I leave it here. And we go to the third line. This one this line appears the XYZ axis of the accelerator accelerometer. Let's test the X axis. And we're starting from two. X is two. Okay. The value is increasing up to sixty. Up to sixty. Let's try to rotate it to the other side. It's minus 55. Okay. Let's try the Y axis. Here is the 0. Minus 37. Minus 58. On the other side, plus 57. The Z axis can show us if this accelerometer is horizontal like this way or the upside down. The upside down is minus 67, 62, 65. If I rotate, if I rotate it like this way, the Z goes to 47, 48. You must have a, a st steady hand. Okay, we finished with this sensor too.
this circuit has an EPOM that is on the real-time clock board. This chip is the EPROM. 24C32 is a 32 kilobit EPROM. The microcontroller writes the data into the EPROM and after that the microcontroller reads the data back and appears the data on LCD on the fourth line 5 bytes this is a test that the write operation from the microcontroller to the EPROM has been done successfully let's see the LCD converter this converter converts the data from I2C data bus into 8-bit parallel port this LCD is a common 20 characters by 4 lines working at a 4-bit mode okay is a big advantage advantage to use this converter because you decrease the cables they use pins to two pins you can see I used one two three four five devices with only two data pin two cables SCL and SDA pins we can use a more smaller microcontroller like 80 tiny 85 with 8 pins that's all thanks for watching